A lot of people have asked me here at the booth or when I do classes whether it is okay to run with your propane on as you're driving down the road. It's your RV. You can do whatever you want. However, running with your propane on can be a dangerous act. If you're in a collision, you have to go off the road, do a blown tire, whatever, and you break the Schedule 80 black pipe, which is what goes from the propane tank to the length of your RV, whether it's a motorhome or a fifth wheel or whatever, and you have four branch lines. You have one that goes to the refrigerator, one that goes to the stove, one to the furnace, and one to the hot water heater. If you broke, break those, then what's going to happen is it's going to fill your bays up with propane. If it finds an arc or a spark, it's going to light off. So my suggestion is, and has always been, to turn it off as you're driving. Both Norcold and Dometic will tell you that you should be able to drive six to eight hours without losing more than four degrees. Now remember, motorhome operators, you have a big thing up in the front or in the side or in the back, call a generator, turn the generator on, run it on AC. It'll keep your refrigerator nice and cold. The other thing you can do is you can get the little cube fridge fan. It runs on 2D batteries and what its job is is to circulate the air because all the cooling is done in the fins on the top shelf. You want to get them down onto the lower shelf so the fan will circulate the air. And guys, guess what? You don't need to read the directions because there's a picture in there that will tell you exactly where to put it. Now you get about oh, four to six weeks out of a good set of batteries, energizers or uh, Duracells, and you should get about a year to 18 months out of the fan. Because remember, every cubic foot of air that's in that refrigerator travels through the fan. And there are microscopic bits and pieces of food that fly around in there that you don't see, you don't want to see, and it'll get on the fan blades or get on the shaft and the fan, it'll stop the fan. And they're only about 20, 25 bucks, depending on where you get them. So do that, it's just a lot safer. Two years ago, because of a blown tire and the people went off the road, we had five fatalities because people were running the refrigerator. That has been a controversy for years. You got 50% of the people saying, ah, it's no big deal. You got 50% of the people say it is a big deal. I think it's a big deal because only you can keep you safe because I don't know of anybody else that really cares.